The MC5 was pretty cool, you know, we picked Kick Out the Jams just because it was totally iconic, so we wanted to get the song in the game. What we ended up doing was re-recording the song, but using the original vocal track of Rob Tyner. We brought in Bruce Botnick, the original producer of the track, to recreate that track. And to do that, Wayne brought in a couple of his friends, Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains and Gilby Clark of Guns N' Roses, to create a pretty inspiring track. Kick out the jam. Guitar Hero is everywhere. It's really incredible. To have Kick Out the Jams be part of Guitar Hero, to me, is a great honor. Just humbled and, and gratified to see that people are interested in, in the music of the MC5. It continues to be relevant. They just re-recorded the song and they just did an awesome version of it. It was really cool to hear, hear him come back and revisit sort of such an important part of his past and now put it in Guitar Hero.